What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody had a great weekend and a great Memorial Day. And hit those theaters. Number one movie in the country is X-Men. I mean, I already predicted it. And the sales of that movie more than doubled Alice, which is in second place. And yeah, which I got to, I got to, hopefully I'll be able to see it tomorrow. They're not showing it as much over here. They only, you know, the times they want to show it is the times I can't watch it. Um, the game you're watching right now is Fallout 4. Been trying to get into this game. <laughs> it's a little difficult, not in the sense of like the enemies, just more of like the navigation and getting around, the setting up and all that stuff. So it's getting some time to use to. And I'm trying to work through it. This is the only, this is the first Fallout game that I've played more than five minutes of. I can say that. And it's hard. And it's dark. Like I can't, like when it gets dark here and I, it, it's dark. Like, <laughs> like I can't see nothing. Like I got the brightness up and it's so hard. Uh, but it is a great game. I like it. You know, uh, I like the customizations you can do on it. So I'm giving it a shot. I'm going to keep playing it. All right. So let's get updated. So your boy Jigga Man has announced that his next album will be a collaboration with his wife Beyonce, even though her last album Lemonade revealed some marital problems. But I think they I think it's all staged. I think they they worked out their issues and using this to sell records, you know, which which is working. You know, remember what Jay-Z said. He's a business. He's he's not a businessman. He's a business man. All right, so get to that money, Jigger. He's they're killing it out there, killing it. Um, what else is going on? Your boy Ti has got a new show that he's starring in and producing, and it's making waves, good and bad. And the show's called Roots. Roots is a historical show that came out in the late '70s about slavery and slavery in America, and it's being remastered, no pun intended, and being done in the way it's meant to be shown on TV. So I think that's awesome. Most remakes suck, but the original was made on a Disney ranch and which the whole movie, and the movie's like eight hours long, but the whole movie's made on a Disney ranch. This one they actually took it back to Africa. They actually on real plantations in the South. And it's, I think they're doing a fantastic job. I think some people need to be informed and know about history. Um, but your boy Snoop Dogg <laughs> just ain't having it. Take a listen. No disrespect, but I can't watch no motherfucking more black movies where niggas getting dogged out, 12 years of slave, Roots, Underground. I can't watch none of that shit. I'm sick of this shit. How the fuck they gonna put Roots on on Memorial Day? They gonna just keep beating that shit in our heads or how they did us, huh? I mean, I don't understand America. They just wanna just keep showing the abuse that we took hundreds and hundreds of years ago. But guess what? We taking the same abuse. Think about that part. When y'all gonna make a motherfucking series about the success that black folks is having? The only success we have is Roots and 12 Years a Slave and shit like that, huh? Fuck y'all, I ain't watching that shit. And I advise you motherfuckers that's real niggas like myself, fuck them television shows. Let's create our own shit based on the day. How we live and how we inspire people today. Black is what's real. Fuck that old shit. Right, Jules? I probably should have started by saying viewer discretion advised, but I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, he goes he goes in hard on there. And I don't know. I, I kind of agree with him. I understand what he's saying. But there are some good shows out there that show black excellence. Like Rosewood is a fantastic show. Where it shows the main lead, Morris Chestnut, owns his own um, ME, medical examiner office. And he helps the police, and he's the star of the show. Uh, a lot of you know, Kevin Hart movies, some of them, show each character, even though it's all black cast, each character is successful at their job. They're like either the boss or the CEO. So they do show some positive stuff. You know, there's also more shows. Like Kevin Hart's TV show has all, you know, famous black people on it. You know, the whole show is all about famous black people, which is called Real Husbands of Hollywood. It's a spoof reality show. It's very funny if you haven't seen it. It's hilarious. 
So I get what he's saying, but you know, there are other shows out there. A show black people in a positive light. So with that said, let's move on to some gaming news. WWE 2K17 teaser dropped. And the main story of the game will be Bill Goldberg. Playing his career through WCW to his final match with Brock Lesnar. It comes out this fall in October. I hope you guys, you know, check it out. I am getting back into WWE and I really hope that they keep some of the, the same features from 2K16 and just improve on some of the stuff that was in the game. You know, like add in, put back, create a finisher, um, add in, you know, more clothes or add, they said it's supposed to have the biggest roster ever, which is great. Um, you know, I don't know, add in more moves, but like just keep the same game. Like you had a good game in 2016, you know, just update it, you know? So I don't know. I hope it's, I hope it's a good game. Also that came out is a new Turtles game dropped. Now I heard it was okay. My boy Leo has it and his biggest problem was there was no couch co-op. That's his term for no split screen or same screen co-op. So how the hell you make a Turtles, new, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game that's not co-op? Like, I, <laughs> that's not that's not same screen co-op or split screen co-op. You know what I mean? Like, why, why would you do that? I never heard of such a thing. Because all of the Turtles games have been like that. Because they're one of the founding, like, if they made a Mount Rushmore of co-op games, new, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is up there. Guaranteed. It's one of the first arcade games to have four players on it. You know, I didn't say it was the first, but it's one of the first. Like, at least top five. You got Simpsons, you got X-Men, you got Turtles. You know, you always had to pick one of those three games, and now they're slowly taking it away from video games that they're co-op, same screen. You sit on the couch with your buddy. You remember that those days, right? You sit on the couch with your best friend, playing the game, same screen, kicking butt. You know, and it was good. We got shared lives. I remember me and boy Angel would play Contra. And Contra, you share lives. And he just kept dying. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Back then, I was, I was upset. But, you know, it was funny, though. It was funny. He just kept dying. Um, shout out to you, Angel. And your wife. Yeah, bring back the co-ops, guys. Bring back the co-ops. Please bring back the co-ops. All right. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, New movies this weekend is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I will be seeing that. Um, I'm actually looking forward more and more that I see the the trailer for it. The more and more I start to like it. Also, you know, um, ne- the following week is uh, next week is Warcraft and Now You See Me Too, which I'm looking forward to watching Now You See Me Too. Warcraft, I'm up in the air about, uh, which you guys know already. So. Also, I got challenged by a fellow YouTuber to a game. J Hunter V2 wants me to play Mario 3 on SNES and beat the first world without any power ups. So, I will be playing that. You guys can check that tomorrow on Twitch. Also, I'm going to be doing The Lion King, find out what the hell is going on with this uh, stage 4. Everyone keeps saying it's the hardest stage 4. I think it's on uh, Sega Gen, which is Sega Genesis. So I'm gonna check that out, you know. So I'm accepting these challenges, and I'm gonna break it down for you guys. And I'm gonna post it on YouTube so you guys will be able to see it. But you also be able to check it out live on Twitch. And I will see you guys later.